and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Five Color Reborn. This is just one of my favorite decks to play, to be honest. niv at Reborn is just so much fun. Just such a great uh, animation and everything. Really is a blast, and we've been doing well with this deck too. Like, this is a pretty strong deck, because like if you just kind of look across the board, our cards are really, really powerful all the way across the board, which that's to be expected whenever you're playing the five colors, of course. Um, so yeah, anytime the mana works out, I think it, uh, the deck works out as well. So I'm taking out, from the last time we played it, I'm taking out the four mana for Aska in the main deck for Assassin's Trophy in the main deck. I think I would rather, I think I want Assassin's Trophy instead. Because um, like with the four mana of Raska, the tick up is basically doing absolutely nothing. Like we never want to sacrifice stuff. You want as many lands as possible when you're playing like Krasis and Explosion and things like that. So it's basically like four mana Abrupt Decay for Vraska Golgari Queen. And so I'm just replacing that with Assassin's Trophy. Uh, but that's that's the main difference. Oh, and I had an Ashiok in the sideboard before, and I'm going to just take out Ashiok and replace it with Unmoored Ego. Um, I want this. I want Ego against Nexus um, or against Command the Dread Horde. I think I want that more than Ashiok. Uh, those, those are the main uses for Unmoored Ego is those two cards. Um, Living Twister. Uh, I don't think we don't really need flood insurance too much in this deck, honestly. Like, you, we really do want a lot of lands in this deck, like I was saying, like with these. And like, Niv Mizzet Reborn, of course, it draws it draws a good amount of cards for you, but it only draws spells, it doesn't draw lands. So, you, you want to have a lot of lands kind of naturally when you're playing a card like Niv Mizzet Reborn. Um, and yet, yeah, GRR is like basically impossible to cast also unless unless you have chromatic lantern um so yeah so there we go so five color reborn this deck is pretty sweet uh we need to be we're gonna go ahead and switch on over to nickel bolus we did that last time because nickel bolus and if mizzet are pals they go back a long ways pretty sure that's pretty sure that's right yeah, maybe maybe one of those two statements is correct. Either they're pals or they go back a long ways. One of the, one of those. Um, but yeah, we're gonna play like five matches here in Mythic with our five color reborn deck. So the R stands. That's what the R is over here is for ranked. Okay, we got our. Thought Erasure into a Johnny Curve. So we got two Thought Erasures over here. Nickel Bolus, Nickel Bolus, Bedeck. I'm going to take the Dragon God. Hey, Jay Rockefeller. <laughs> they take the discovery. Please don't take Niv Misery Born. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do anything else. Do anything else. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, uh, Johnny. You gotta sacrifice yourself for the team there. Alright, we're gonna top deck another Niv. Dang. Well, this is, of course, a matchup that I'm sideboarding out a Johnny right away. A Johnny does kind of look a little awkward in the deck, but we've just won so many games with a Johnny. I was just talk talking about this earlier with a Johnny against the uh, aggro decks of the format. Like, uh, 
like mono red and stuff like you know this deck's filled with removal no, removal spells and sweepers and you keep the battlefield clear and then just gain three life a turn and really helps you stabilize and get to the late game which is of course exactly what our deck wants to do now do you see the benefits of peace Well, this trophy is probably better for us than Vraska Bulgari Queen would have been. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. Has consequence. Good draw, good draw. Crisis does not die to Bedeck. Another crisis, or we need another Niv Mizzet, really. So our mana is just fine. Let me get rid of the lantern because they can use stuff like Bedevil to destroy lantern anyway. Nah, no, I don't. I don't think I'll be keeping Kai's Wrath game too either. I probably won't be keeping Chromatic Lantern, honestly, either. I think we're basically taking out all the cards we've been drawing this game. Tristani is certainly better in this kind of matchup than Ajani is, absolutely. But against the aggro decks, Ajani is really is better. Like it's, it's very very good. It's a very underrated card. All right, we're not being active, Escanta. All right, sideboard, Narset, Elder Spell, Veto, Veto, Dispark, Dispark. Um, mm, mm, mm. Tamiyo. I could see playing Ego for Dragon God. Because honestly, without Nicol Bolas Dragon God, their deck isn't really that scary. Nico Bull's Dragon God is is the best card in that deck by miles. So would I want to cut a third lantern for Ego? Is the main question. Do I want to keep Oath of Kaya in to kill Narset? Is another question. Narset or Nicol Bolas that ticks down. No, we gotta gotta keep the discoveries. Discovery's pretty clutch. Need those to like help hit our land drops and hit our correct colors of lands and all that kind of stuff. This is not really a deck to cut Discovery in in, in any matchup. Because you can have ridiculous 
looking hands like this, but all you need is any blue or any black mana to cast Discovery. Oh, I am dumb. Why, why was I thinking the Hunterland Harbor was going to come into play untapped from the God of the Shrine while I was talking? I should have just le led with Harbor and then shocked in God of the Shrine then. Could have vetoed that. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be keeping this to fairy, to be honest. Maybe I should have ditched it. Yeah, I probably should have just ditched it, because I only have the one white. I could copy Ego. Huh. I was definitely hoping to draw a land where I could like Elder Spell plus Ego plus Veto. Um, but yeah, I, I think I have to kill that. I think I just have to Elder Spell Ego. I mean, I, I guess I could give them one more activation. If I go Ego Expansion and just get rid of all eight, all of, like, both Nicol Boluses, though. I'm going to do this. Oh gosh, their hand is awful. Really? You only have two of those things? Are they like expecting me to be doing this or something? So they just have War Boss. So I just have to be able to beat War Bosses.
Ugh. Another time, planeswalker. Draw red mana. Dang. That's not good. They found a war boss. It's definitely hoping that they would wait a little bit before finding one of those. It's the only, only scary card. Okay, well, we got the red mana. Niv is it. All right, we'll take, take those. All right, let's look for, of course, the niv is going to die to the Rampage, so we got to just look for some niv Mizzet removal. Or, sorry, some Legion War Boss removal. What if I should have named War Boss instead of Niv the Ravager with the other uh, ego? That Thought Erasure was really perfect, getting rid of. To fairy and Niv is it? Seriously, auto tap? What do you think I'm doing here by leaving a mana up? What do you think I'm doing here, auto tap? Turns out when it mattered, like if I would have kept up the hollowed fountain. We didn't draw another land to, to deal with it, though. I think we're dead. I really don't have answers to war boss in here. My opponent definitely sideboarded exactly against my sideboarding. Taking out both their nickel boluses that I was going to be egoing. Hmm. Yeah, we lost to the boss. It was the only card in their deck that was going to beat us. I was worried about. And they found it right away after that ego. It's unfortunate. Could certainly use some turns to stabilize. All right, next match. Need to find red mana. Do I wait? Phoenix, really? Man, what a day. What's the best card my opponent could draw? Spellbreaker? Cool. How about the next turn? Phoenix? Cool.
I will teach you humility. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? <sighs> yep, you're gonna have your good days and your bad days playing magic. This one's been a bad day for us, as far as wins and losses are concerned. It's been still been a pr pretty enjoyable one, I like these decks, especially I, I like this deck that we're playing right now. You know, it's a fun deck to play and everything. Ah, of course, our opponent's just not playing the Hellkite right now. Why not? Humility brings perspective. Why would they? I shall return. Right on schedule. This might be a bad idea. Again. <laughs> Quasi dupli ooze. That's that's a great deck. All right, we're looking good. We have stabilized. All right, gonna make sure the auto tapper doesn't mess us up this time. Oh, wait. So we need you need to be white. You need to be white. You need to be black. Need to be black. All right, Kai's wrath. Rampage. And they can have a big Hellkite, but we'll have Niv Misery Born, and we also have Krasis. Sounds looking good. That Johnny did its that Johnny did his job, you know, like a. Gained three life plus took eight damage. It did its job. On turn four there. Tristani, you know, would have had to take another turn to come down. Hmm. I guess I could just cast the rampage. Nah. I didn't come here come I didn't come here to cast rampages. I came here to cast Niv Misery Borns. That's what I'm talking about. Let's refill this hand. Clarion's, of course, pretty nice, given our creature lifelink also. All right. Dispark, Dispark, another Wrath. We'll take out Expansion. Oh no, Johnny did good there. Yep, you can find the lists on the Stream Decker page there. What am I taking out, Hawkeye? Taking out Lil Teferi. It's just a Lil Teferi. That's a good point. Yeah, you can you can kill a phoenix, have it go to the graveyard, and then 
unmoored ego and name the phoenixes and take it out of the graveyard. That is true. Alright, I like them having just green lands. Kaiserath is good against green lands. The red lands with like the phoenix and stuff, that's where it gets trickier. Alright, well these cards are pretty awesome. Especially the spark because of the phoenix. I think I'm just going to play Blood Crypt Thought Razor this turn. Their hand is not good. We need to draw our big stuff. Krasis, niv Mizzet, Teferi. Big thing? No, not a big thing. Adanta Vanguard, Font of Agonies. It's kind of hard, like... While those two cards is pretty cool, like putting the the rest of the deck together is pretty tough. Um, I tried putting a Font of, Font of Agony's deck together before. It's pretty tough, to be honest. All right, we're one and one. Forty jams. We got forty jams, Hawkeye. That's worth twenty cents. We got twenty cents of jams, Hawkeye. We're rich. We're rich. 20 cents. You can tell Hawkeye's pretty excited about it. Man, I, okay, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Alright, so yeah, we get Discovery on turn two. This is why Discovery is so important. It's basically no matter what our mana base looks like, we get to cast Discovery. It's just so important. Lands. That's not a land. That's not a land. Alright, need blue and green as far as mana goes. All right, there's blue. Clarion is crucial. It's a good one. Get that two for one. Slow him down. You may even say that was a dagger. Gosh, Frilled Mystic is just so strong. Oh no. I think I have to take Frilled Mystic, honestly. <sighs> that card's just so strong. Maybe not. Yeah, I probably do. All right, took the Mystic, and that Kaya's Wrath is perfect.
I know. My no time for a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get an Nissa. Start killing my Teferi. Teferi, you gotta find green mana for me, though. Time for Plan B. Is that Plan B? That's still not green. I guess that yeah, Plan A would have been green mana. All right, lantern works. Lantern works. That's green. Behold, nature's true power. Uh, now what? I don't know. You can do whatever you want. All right, waiting a, waiting a turn for the Kaiser Wrath. I want to be able to Kaiser Wrath away another creature. The land shall conquer you. I was hoping to hit. I was hope. I was playing the crisis here because I was hoping to hit Nissa once and and get it so Nissa was an ultimating. But obviously they drew the Shalai. So yeah, that was that was the plan was to be able to hit Nissa once, not let Nissa ultimate. The land fights for us. All right, Handgrass Rampage. Assassin's Trophy. Or a discovery and a Clarion. Should I just cast the Clarion now and kill this Hallowed Fountain? <sighs> so Hallowed Fountain's about to have Indestructible. Nah, I'll just let it have Indest I'll just let it be Indestructible. I do have two Angrass Rampages in the deck. For those who are worthy. They could make them sacrifice the fountain. But yeah, that's a, a nice draw 10. Get 10 cards out of the library. Well, we only we didn't find very much from that Niv Mizzet. It was a whole bunch of lands, and then drew another land. Discovery saw two lands, and then the next card was a land.
And another land. I mean, this, this is over. I mean, sure, I can Kaya's Wrath, but they have a million cards. Alright, Desparks. Another Wrath. Clarion. What if... What if I Ego Crisis? Nissa's kind of whatever. I can deal with Nissa. That's, I don't really... Nissa's fine. I mean, I'm playing four Clarion, four Wrath. Crisis, though. Crisis is like, you know, a million cards in one. Yeah, Nissa ult kind of cost me that game, sure. I'd say whiffing on a bunch of draw steps and with niv at Reborn and them drawing the Shalai at the perfect time to be able to block my Krasis, I'd say all that much more so than the, than the Nissa. Like after, we, like what did we draw that was any good? Like that whole game, we drew like one Kaya's Wrath. And out of all the cards we drew, including with the Teferis and with the Krasis, and then with even with like the the Discovery after the Niv Mizzet and the Niv Mizzet, we didn't. We had nothing. All right, we got perfect mana. Unfortunately, Niv Mizzet's not a cast trigger. Ooh, no Frill Mystic. Okay. Okay, so we get Clarion, Teferi, Thought Erasure, and Wrath. We'll discard. A woodland Cemetery. Now we already got two red. I need a third red. All right, refill the hand. Now we got seven like the opponent. So this eats the Dovin's Veto. Or nah. Are they more scared of Thought Erasure?
They definitely have counter magic over there. Or I guess they have negate, not not veto. Yeah, they have negate. Because of how they they left the blue mana open the last turn. No manipulation. Bad. Bad manipulation. So if they if they Ixalan's binding my Niv Mizzet, I get to tuck the binding and get the trigger again, because Niv Mizzet is an ETB trigger. I don't think my opponent's having mana issues. They have six mana. This is like what what their deck's designed to have. Here. I can no longer stand by and watch. All right, well, that didn't tap very well. I want, like, you know, blue and black up for Thought Erasure. But that draw, that was going to be a good draw for either way. I guess this is good against Frilled Mystic. It's good at bouncing enchantments. Maybe not Ego. Maybe not on Mord Ego. No, I don't want I don't want Dovin's Vitos. All right, going back to kind of how I had it. Yeah, six land hand was perfect. Six land with like perfect, perfect mana. Perfect mana, we'll take it. I don't want to start with Steam Vents because of Kaya's Wrath. I want to just play black white lands. Smart. I can't thought erasure because of Shalai. Our cards were purple because of our opponent's sleeves. I don't know why it's like that. I think it's some kind of bug. That's a good hand. That's a really good hand.
That was a really, really good hand. So do I want a Teferi, Tuck Nissa? And then I'm taking eight. I guess Teferi's taking three, I'm taking five. Or I can cast Nymph as a Reborn. Hope they don't have a removal spell. I'm gonna do this. I hope they don't have a removal spell. Ugh. The old draw five, so we have to discard three. Um, Discovery's gonna go. The steam vents. And. I'm not sure what I want the other card to be here, honestly. Maybe the Clarion? No, Clarion's good. I guess Teferi. Of course they had removal to back up that ridiculous hand. Why not? Probably have a Frilled Mystic left over, too. Rise, my elemental friend. Oh, wait. I can't... I don't have another black source. I need one more black. I can't wrath plus trophy. God, their hand was just insane. Well, Clarion Trophy, I'm dead to this Hydroid Crisis still. I guess... No. Yeah. Crisis for one isn't doing anything for me. Yeah, we're, we're just dead. <laughs> oh, they had Frilled Mystic back up too. Wow. That was just the perfect hand. That was just the perfect hand, Hawkeye. That was insane. I just had the perfect hand. No, I don't think 26 lands is too much at all. Not not at all. Honestly, like the lanterns really haven't been that impressive or like maybe necessary, I guess is the right thing. I think I maybe could go to like 27 or 28 lands and cut the lanterns to be honest. Like with discovery, I don't I don't think you really need lantern. 
No, maybe not. But but yeah, this deck. I mean, we need like we need to hit like six land drops every single game, if not more. Like all you want to do is hit land drops with this deck because like Niv Mizzet gets you lots of cards. Krasis gets you lots of cards. You, if you like, you know, have like three lands, you lose. Like you're just dead. So you can't you can't play 24, 25 lands. I think 26 is the minimum. I'm basically playing 26 because we got the four lantern the four lanterns also. But could go to like 28 lands and maybe no lanterns potentially. Um, because the other thing is we also, you know, again, we have five colors, so, like, you're going to need every, every color you add, you kind of have to have extra lands, because, to, like, help out, uh, whatever colors that you need, kind of thing. Because it's, it's not only that we need, like, five lands, we need five lands of different colors, which makes it harder to hit than, like, a five lands from a single color deck. But I don't think our, our land count is technically 30. And, you know, if you, if you... I've heard a couple of people say that on, like, YouTube comments and stuff, too, of, like, our deck has too many mana sources because there's 30 in there whenever you add in the, the lanterns. But the thing is... Is that's not... That's not like a ton, like that's not like an abundance amount. Like if you think about like the deck that we're just playing against, if you think about like the ramp decks, like with all the mana creatures, if you count every single mana creature and all their lands, like they're running what you know, good amount over thirty. There's there's certainly nothing wrong with playing thirty mana sources. Especially when you have a deck that's just trying to play really, really expensive things. Like we have. So good news, our opponent never took Niv Mizzet with the three thought erasures. They just took or no, two thought erasures? No, they just had two. With the two thought erasures. They took expansion and lantern. If I had to like pick for my opponent what two cards I wanted them to take, I would have taken lantern and expansion. And it would have left me with Deafening Clarion and Niv Mizzet. <laughs> so that's good. All right, that's fine with me. I think that Niv Mizza can beat these two cards. Hmm, that one's not nearly as fine. Right on. We need to move quickly. That was the worst possible card for me to see. That's how today's been going for us. All right, so we just get one Krasis and one Kai's Wrath. We only get to choose one of each. Uh, and another Niv Mizzet to the bottom. So we got two Krasis and a, and a Niv at the bottom. But they, if they tuck the Reborn here, that's good for us because we get to cast it again later. Rampage can kill the Teferi. I do have the mana to rampage away to fairy plus Kaya's Wrath if they play like Hero and Guard Mage.
You need to slow down. Ah, that's the focused and disciplined. That's unfortunate. No obstacles. That stops the rampage. Thoughtfulness before action. Yeah, they've had really good draw steps after we left them with five lands the hero and the the guard mage then they drew they top deck to fairy which drew an extra card between that and then their next draw step they had narset uh and another big to fairy and then the narset found a little to fairy like it was so their next three cards were to fairy to fairy narset and of course the narset found another little fairy hurry uh, I I like Grixis amass a lot more than Demir amass I think the best amass card is widespread brutality that card is awesome like that card's awesome enter the God Eternals is awesome kind of the problem with the amass decks though is like these to fairies you know like you make it you make a big army they just play this thing and they just bounce the army draw card it's it's such a beating it's very brutal So another Niv Mizzet and seven lands to the bottom and that was maybe the worst Niv Mizzet reborn we've ever had. Just draw one card. That's maybe the worst one I've ever had. If you wish to hone your prowess. No opponent could not draw any better. <laughs> we cast two reborns and got three cards. Man, today's just been a really bad day for me. Sorry being so negative here. Sorry, y'all. I'll I'll stop. Why are they saying good game? Why has that been like the second or third person that's done that? Like the game's not even over. my limit this isn't a fight you can win I'll protect you <laughs> keep up the pace
I, I honestly just thought that we were winning this very easily whenever they just had the five lands and the and the hero and the guard mage and nothing else and longer stand by and, and you know we had Niv Mizzet and other things and I thought we were gonna win this very easily and every single draw step they've had since then was just perfect. I really should have seen that coming. Because they, like, I mean, they played the beginning of the game horribly. Like, they took the the, the worst possible cards they could take with the Thought Erasures. Like, if I was choosing the Thought Erasures for them, I would have been taking, like, I would have been taking the cards that they were choosing. They could have been playing their earlier game worse. And then, and then after that, of course, they're, yeah, with the, the Bad Manners, good game there. After just drawing... Perfectly. They should they should be pretty ashamed of themselves, but oh well. So we need to make sure we don't take out all of our sweepers after sideboarding, of course, because of Hero Precinct 1. Got to keep some of them in. Let's skip to the good part. Don't worry, I got this. Okay, you're going to have to move. Okay. Definitely think our opponent was watching the stream and hearing me make those comments, and now they're just doing the good game thing over and over again. So I would like to be able to Angrass Rampage away this hero, Precinct 1, but all they have to do is cast any spell, and they just make a 1-1, one, one, and then, you know, just sacrifice the 1-1. One, one. So that's not going to be too good for us. So I, I have to attack that Teferi over there. to move quickly. <laughs> I 
All right, so looks like they got Dreadhorde. Yep, we got Hawkeye here now. Excellent timing. So we got a guard mage, or to fairy, and a hostage taker, and a dispark. Shows you how good Teferi Hero Dominar is. That'll be a good card to rotate out of standard. I'll be very happy when that rotates out. I mean, Clarion's just kind of better than Kaya's Wrath, right? It's just a cheaper Kaya's Wrath. Sparks, you know, Despark's awesome at taking out Big Teferi, but that's all it does. Yeah, rotation is whenever the fall set comes out in like late September or early October. Opponent needs the the stream to update so they can see what my hand is first before they decide to keep or not. So if I choose five mana to fairy with the Unmoored Ego, it does get rid of all of them for good. Then they get to draw two other cards. Because that's how Ego works. My plan for this card, honestly, was Command the Dread Horde. But I think 
that honestly beating the Teferi hero Dominarios would be pretty difficult from here. So we'll just get rid of them. So they just have so they have two command the dread hordes. And a whole bunch of creatures. Maybe I should have. I think if I win this game and go to a third game, I'm going to have another sweeper in my deck. I think I'm maybe one short. Yes, I yes I was worried that of thought erasure on the uh, ego. I just wanted to get it out of my hand. And get rid of those. Get rid of those Teferis. It's easier to beat Esper when they don't have that card advantage. Yeah, sorry, I didn't I didn't see that message very fast. Alright, so Tamio we can have Tamio get Thought Erasure to be able to take the Ugin. That's my plan right now. Of course, Tamio would then be dead to an attack on their side. Every story is an opportunity for new data. But I like trading these. I mean, I could just go on more ego and take command the dread horde for good. But then, like, are we honestly just beating the what's on the battlefield here? It's like maybe not. Because if I do that, then they just drop Ugin. I'm looking pretty bad. I just gotta kind of hope they have to. I gotta kind of hope they don't draw Command the Dread Horde. So that's a tough one. Oh, I should I should block the Vanguard. Because yeah, if they oh I should block the Vanguard with that attack. I was thinking don't block, but yeah, no, I that's that's an easy I should I should be blocking the Vanguard there. Because then if they, if they Othokaya kill the Krasis, I at least have the Tamiyo still. And Tamiyo, we know, would have been good because... Um, or at least, you know, I would have been able to tick up once. And, like, the tick up would have been good because we would have known... Would have helped know the top card because of Discovery.
All right, so of course we're just playing open-handed. Um, so. Our opponent, sure our opponent knows that we have this veto. Even though they have the Sparks, I'm still just looking for Niv-Mizzet. So, while this attack is okay here, I'm just kind of behind here. This will be a bad veto if they have Command the Dread Horde, but I'm just kind of behind here. Looking for a Niv Mizzet to fill up our hand. I'll do. Just, you know, gets rid of the Dispark and draws us a card. Well, that could not have gone any worse. All right, we'll see what we draw here. That didn't go according to plan. You can draw one over. Uh, saw so a red card. I was thinking one of our deafening clarions, but the anchor has to rampage. Won't do it. Sack the one one. Hostage Shaker is a good card. Good card. No Niv Mizzets for us. Even after casting all of our discoveries, couldn't find one. We have, yeah, we have four Nivs in here. We are over halfway through our deck, but couldn't find one. Hmm. Out of our our four Krasis, four Niv Mizzet, halfway through our deck, we saw one copy. You know, we saw one Krasis. That was like our, our big card advantage things. That was not ideal. Sorry I'm late. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, we have four Kaya's Rats, four... Deafening Clarions. I don't think we need Time Wipe. Also. Trust 
Trust me, I have a plan. All right, just letting. I'm gonna just keep taking Teferi up and make it so they have to use a good amount of resources to get rid of Teferi. Um, basically, this Teferi is just going to be a protection from Finale. The red Finale, that is. Let's try this. I am not going to hurry. I guess I should have played Hinterland Harbor. I could have had Trophy up also, but I don't think I'm trophying anything. Hmm. All burn spells. Wow. Steam Vents is my one shock land. Alright, as we saw, they are very willing just to ignore me. And so... I'm gonna go. I'll go ahead and minus the tefer this Teferi. I don't, they're not going to be using like the burn spells to kill it. So we'll just bounce the Phoenix back to their hand. Hopefully it slows them down a little bit. And have it expansion or trophy here. So expansioning this means I just draw two. I don't have to discard a card. Yeah, I think I'll just draw two. Yeah, so this is a Phoenix burn deck. I guess maybe I could keep the Thought Erasure. Alright. I'm going to have just way too many cards in hand if I play this Niv Mizzet. play the crisis out, uh, gain a life. I can bounce the, the crisis, of course, with my Teferi. Oh, uh, which deck, which deck do you really like that you miss, Bethel Freak? You ready to throw down the gauntlet? I am. Danger only makes field research more interesting. Win 
win some, you lose some, then you dredge. The okay. Yeah, that was a good one. All right, so they're keeping it right there. So I want I want this Clarion, of course, to be Life Link. So like we should we should basically have this. We know they're drawing Phoenix. So yeah, we should have that. All right, Dispark, Dispark. Let's get the Oath of Kaya in here also for that life gain. Um, some Vetoes, a Narset. Another Clarion. Take out two Kaya's Rass. Maybe all of the Kaya's Rass. No, I'll just go take out two. Two Wraths. Um, maybe all the Wraths. Yeah, all the Wraths. Take out Expansion. I'll take out the trophy, a lantern, hmm. We'll take out the Time Raveler. All right. Ugh. All right, let's get a win here. Let's finish up with the 2-3. For how today's gone for us, 2-3 would not be so bad. That was a clutch and grass rampage draw. <laughs> hey, Elbly. Welcome to the channel. All right, another electrostatic field. That one's trouble. The second one there. Fortunately, got a bunch of five drops in hand, unfortunately, and then four lands. <clears throat> okay. I'll be starting with Niv. All right, we got nine cards in hand. Got to discard. Let's discard. They're opting on my turn? They missed a land drop. Why didn't they just opt on their turn? If that was their plan, they could have got a land and had a land drop. I don't know. They could maybe hit enough to bring that Phoenix back. All right, Discovery's gone. And... Maybe Teferi, to be honest. Yeah, this doesn't really seem like we really need Teferi here. I like the uh, life gain from the this Ajani. This Ajani also gives like the our our flyers vigilance, so like we can bash in and block. So that's pretty important too. I guess I'm casting Discovery because I want to hit a land drop. Hmm. 
Let's, I'm going to Thought Erasure first just because for easy tapping. So if I try casting Discovery first, they'll just tap these lands. And then it'll be harder for me to cast Thought Erasure. Even though this isn't the best. Isn't the best tapping. All right, and we still have still have to dispark for Phoenix. All right, so I'm I'm not attacking with Nimizit here because if I attack with Nimizit, they can just like fire off like these burn spells up at me. Maybe not attacking means they fire them off at Niv, but I guess they they got the Bacon Bolt, which is just gonna the Niv's gonna eat the Bacon Bolt anyway. Oh, I can't go Clarion and Oath. They both cost white mana. Can't do both of those, so let's let's just play this thing. More lands, please. There we go. And this is why 26 is not too many lands, because Niv Mizzet fills your fills your hand with spells, as you can see here. Getting spells isn't so hard with Niv Mizzet. Gotta get your land drops. This is why 26 isn't so bad. Hey, so what do you think about using Guild Globe instead of Lantern for this deck with Teferi 3? I don't I don't think you need to do that, honestly. Um, yeah, I mean I th I think I think Lantern's still fine even in the the world of three mana Teferi for this deck. Alright, and Johnny's just gonna put this game away. Now do you see the benefits we got of counter magic for it. And of course, I do want to get more cards out of my hand before I play this Reborn, right? Because if I just play the Reborn, uh, we just got like, to gotta go to discard again. So it's good to get just continue to get more cards out. All right, two, three. Some close losses. Um... Yeah, we've had some some real tough hands from our opponent. It's drawing incredibly, incredibly well, if not perfectly, in some of those losses. Um, but so you know, went two three here this time, but you know, like some some other draws here and there, our opponents, you know, miss on a draw step for a turn. Here and there, that 2-3 could be a 4-1. Magic's a tough game. It's a really close game, you know? The games the games are close and everything. Um, but yeah, it's still a deck that I, I really, really like playing this deck. It's a lot of fun um, and everything. It's a good one. We've talked about, throughout the video, we talked about maybe taking out a Lantern or two for, like, another land. Because... Um, it really seemed like we we haven't really had that much trouble with our mana base, uh, thank, thanks to Discovery, twenty six lands with Discoveries. Like we, like the mana is honestly good. Like I really like how I have this mana base designed. It's it's honestly good. And even without lanterns, we were hitting our land drops pretty fine anyway. So I could honestly see just like maybe get a twenty seventh land in here. And then just cut these lanterns completely. And that just gives you like three other slots to play good quality spells with Niv Mizzets. Or maybe play like one lantern. Because like your first lantern's good. You know, it fixes your mana completely. The first one's good. It's just drawing a second lantern, drawing a third lantern, which happens sometimes. Those are not, you don't want to draw more than one. So maybe just like play one lantern, a 27th land, and then you got two other spells. 
you could be playing in here um, in some in some slots which you know could be just like you know another Teferi another Othakaya um, could be you know like another blue red card um, maybe maybe fit your Ravager Worm in there I still don't know about the Ravager Worm but you know maybe like some other like another green white another red green black so like some of these other guilds that are a little less uh, prevalent you know maybe we fit you know like a Knight of Autumn or a Tristani in the main deck also um, you know a Tamiyo in there another trophy a four man of Raska like that kind of thing so like you know other other things to make Niv-Mizzet even better you know so it's not just all the Esper uh, dual cards um, may have Bedevil the devil could be pretty good in here, honestly. Double black's not very hard. We have, as you can see with the Kaiser Rats, our, our mana base is really built around black in particular. So Bedevil, having access to a Bedevil could be good. Uh, we saw there, you know, sometimes like getting rid of some of those Planeswalkers was kind of tough. Um, all right, so that's five color reborn. Um, so uh, things to think about there. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, but that's it here for Five Color Reborn. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.